hey what is going on today youtube so yesterday i finally got crunchyroll and vrv to work with mpv and i'm gonna show you how to do it my 10 plus hours of research to save you hundreds of hours in your studies out there so let's jump right into it and i'll show you what i mean Alrighty, so I've got MPV, I've got VRV, and then I've got my file explorer open. So what do I mean by playing VRV on MPV? Well, all I have to do is find a Crunchyroll video, drag it into MPV, and it's going to load it up. For this, I chose ReZero episode 26, each one's promise. What I'm going to now do is wait for the video to load, but in the meantime, I'm going to find the subtitle that corresponds to it, and that is ReZero episode 26. I'll show you how to find the subtitles later. But all I'm going to do now is just drag this onto the screen and look at you'll see the subtitles come up. And that is how easy it is to get it into MPV. I can now go through subs to SRS, make flashcards, and all of that fun stuff as well. So how did I do that? Well, we're going to jump straight into it as always and I'll give you a step-by-step -step guide on how to do it on a Windows device, of course. Okay, but before we go any further, first you're gonna need to download YouTube-DL. I have a lengthy tutorial on one of my other videos and I'll go ahead and link it down below in the description or maybe it'll pop up somewhere above. But in order for that to work, the MPV, you're gonna need to download that first. Okay, and welcome back. Hopefully you have YouTube-DL downloaded. If you do, we're gonna go ahead and jump back onto VRV or Crunchyroll, whatever you have and we're going to drag the video into MPV because I'm going to show you what happens if we do all the incon if we do the configuration incorrectly. So, we're just going to wait for it and I'll show you what happens. Alrighty, and the video has um, the video stream has cached in and now we can see it. So, as you can see, the subtitles aren't what I want to be. Um, you would think that I would be able to change it down here, but no, what it's going to end up doing is overlaying it on top on the bottom, below it, just, it's gonna be hard coded in there, these, I don't know what language that is, maybe Spanish, it's gonna be hard coded onto the video because of a certain setting that we have to modify. So what you gotta do is go into your MPV configuration file and change a couple of things. Okay, so go ahead and open up the file explorer. What you're going to do is navigate to your app data folder. This is where your MPV um, should have been downloaded to. So app data percent, and that's a shortcut to your app data. What you're going to do is scroll down to your MPV folder and double click into it. And you should have an MPV uh, configuration file. So what you're going to do is open up your configuration file and we're going to edit a couple of things. Okay, so by default, all you'll have in here is your MPV configurations. But what you're going to need to add is this new file here. What it is, is the YouTube DL. What it's going to do is um, format the video that's being streamed into uh, whatever this is right here. It's basically kind of like a filter, but it's going to remove the hard subs from the video. So watch what happens when we go ahead and save this. Make sure you save it. So go to file, save, save it. And if we quit out of this, reopen MPV, drag it in, and then play the video. Now it's going to play without the hard codes in there. So that's all that you really need to do to get that all set up. And you're basically all good to go to watch MPV in uh, Crunchyroll and MPV or VRV and MPV. You It'll automatically cache the subtitles here. So. You can change the subtitles to whatever MPV has or Crunchyroll, and you're good to go. However, if you're here to be, if you're here for the language learning and want to get the subtitles on there, I'll show you how to do that. But first, we're gonna need to open up a new page. So, where we're going to navigate is to a website called Kitsuneko. So that's right here. I already have it up, but. Kitsuneko is a place where you can go download Japanese subtitles and what you're going to do is click this first one it should say .net and go ahead click into it what you're going to do is go to Japanese subtitles because that's what we want to do for the subs to SRS and this is basically a big library of different subtitles you can find for animes 
what I ended up doing was finding the one that I liked what I was watching which was V0 so I typed in 0 and then just scroll down to um, V0 so let's go ahead and find that and that was this series right here what you're going to do is click into it and V0 happened to be a little bit more complicated than the others um, some will give you a zip file for it um, just to kind of guide you through a more complicated one what you're going to need to do here is it might take a little bit of time but download each one ep each episode that you want to watch for subtitles or find a, a zip file so for example if we want to download the subtitles for episodes 1 through 25 here is a zip file it's titled ReZero Karahajimeru Isekai Seikatsu 01-025 and it's a web rip.zip what I'm gonna do here is export it to some folder that I know I'll go ahead and use my Japanese folder and it's gonna download it and I'm gonna open up where that folder is and then extract it okay now once that is extracted all you're going to do is go ahead and navigate into it. So that's going to be this file right here, folder I meant to say. And you're going to be left with a bunch of episodes, um, SRT files, which are the subtitle files. Now, if you're like me, I wouldn't know what episode to select here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to quickly rename all of them so that I can just look at it and drag it into MPV when I'm watching anime. Okay, so what you could do is that you could open up that folder and manually rename each one. So this is the first one. So re, re zero one. And you could do that for all 25 episodes. I prefer the automated route as you can see. Um, I'm trying to make everything as quick as possible. So what you're going to need to do is go onto Google and download something called um, bulk rename utility. And what that, what it's going to do is allow you to download things, uh, not download, rename things in bulk. So go ahead, click free download, install bulk rename utility. And you're going to go ahead and save it somewhere that you know how to run it or save it somewhere to where you can find it quickly. And what you're going to do, what's going to end up happening is you'll find um, it when you open up. It looks like something like this, a bunch of confusing uh, graphical interface type of things, but it's not too bad once you get the hang of it. So once all of that is downloaded, what you're going to do is navigate to the folder that it's in. If you're on a Windows device, it's going to be the same thing for you as it is for me. So in this top right corner, there's a folder. You're going to click it. And what you're going to do is navigate to where that, um, to where the subtitles file is. So mine is in my Japanese folder. Here's the name, V0. And what I'm going to do is click it OK. And it's going to load all of these files in there. So if you downloaded them, and they should generally be in a um, in order by, by episode name. As you can see, it goes through 1 through 25. So that makes life really easy. For example, all I have to do is click the first one. And you as well, just click the first one, hold shift, click the last one. And it's going to highlight all of them in order to change the name you're going to go down to name here you're going to change the name to something that you want so in this case re zero underscore so that's going to show you the new name on the right side here what i'm going to do is select a suffix so i want to start from one and go all the way up to 25. so that's going to do one through 25 and then all you're going to do is click rename here and it's going to say 25 folder is going to be processed. Um, this is the last opportunity to cancel. So if you, if this is, it's going to rename all those permanently. So make sure you really want to rename what you're renaming with this bulk and rename utility and then click. Okay. 
So this is what's going to show once it's all done. And as you can see, when I re-navigate into that folder, it's going to show all of them properly titled the name. Now this is really helpful if you if you watch MPV with the um, anime with the anime downloaded and as the subtitle name because what you can do is uh, mash the subtitle name and then the video name. But I'll go into another video for that. This one is just going to be watching MPV, watching Crunchyroll through MPV. So we can go ahead and navigate back to Crunchyroll since I chose V0. I'm just going to open up ReZero one more time and scroll to season one because that's what I downloaded for and then drag episode two because episode one is kind of weird and long. <laughs> so go ahead and open up MPV, drag in episode, I guess I don't, this is episode three, drag in episode three or whatever episode you want and then you're gonna drag in the subtitle that you want onto the episode and it's, it should appear but if it doesn't you can switch through subtitles down here so I'm gonna go all the way to 10 because that is gonna be your Japanese subtitles and here they are so if you don't know already how to use MPV um, Go ahead, go to one of my videos where I link you to Matt vs. Japan's MPV tutorial. But one quick thing, if you want to, um, if you want to change how fast the subtitles are, if you, or if you want to match the subtitles up to the sound, all you have to do is click X. This is going to delay the sub, so it's going to come later. Or you can click Z. It's going to make them go faster as you um, go down to the negative. But um, that is basically it for getting subtitles into, into your MPV to um, quickly export flashcards or quickly uh, sentence mine from anime, especially from Crunchyroll or VRV. Um, there is one more thing though that I do want to show you how to do. This is what took me the longest is figuring out how to get your credentials from uh, VRV into MPV so that you can watch uh, premium content from MPV on MPV without having to uh, watch it on the browser. Henceforth allowing you to do all the previous stuff that I showed you how to do with just with Crunchyroll streams. Okay so since I'm a premium member what I'm gonna do is sign out and it's gonna tell me that certain episodes are unavailable to me. So if I go to season two, for example, the latest and greatest episodes, it's gonna say premium only. For example, um, this is the latest episode for ReZero. If I try dragging this one into the, if I try dragging it into MPV, it's gonna crash because I'm, I don't have authentic, I don't have the. The password and the username for it. So how do you go? How do you go around fixing that? Okay, so hopefully you still have your MPV in uh, configuration file opened. If not, let's just go ahead and open that back up. So open up a file explorer. Type in app data, and go into your MPV file, and then reopen up the MPV configuration file. Once you're in there, you're gonna add this new line of um, new line of code, line of text into the MPV input file. And what you're going to do here, you're going to change what I put in here for your username as the username and the password as your password. So it's gonna be the exact same password that you use in VRV here when you click the sign in. So whatever you use to sign into VRV, um, you're going to input here. So an example of this would be um, just to give you something. If your username was was I don't know John at gmail.com and your password was 13 ABC, that is what you would put here. Obviously that is that is a fake thing I just made up on the spot. But that's what you're going to input here and um, you should be able to see your premium content 
after you do that. Okay, so I went and filled it out with my username and password and I should be able to drag the file onto the MPV right here. Weird is I wasn't able to open the latest V0 episode. It was due to some JSON error. Um, you don't need to worry about that, but I'm just gonna run over to a different series and show you how that it does work in fact. So actually for the sake of not spoiling people with the latest and greatest episodes, I'm just gonna go to something that everyone should have seen by now. So this is Shield Hero. Um, if I drag a premium only content over, it will work. And I'll show you that it does here work. As you can see, I am signed out. It says that I have to sign in, so I'm not spoofing anyone with this. And here you go. It's playing. This is premium content as well. Um, so what I just figured out is that some things may not work with it. That is the latest and greatest, but you can always wait the week after and watch that on the Crunchyroll VRV on MPV. But um, that is it. So this should work on Crunchyroll website. It works on VRV and um, it should be the same process. All you have to do is just drag and drop from Crunchyroll. You can literally go anywhere and drag and drop into the MPV and it'll play it. Um, like Dr. Stone, just drag this one in and it's gonna download it into the MPV and allow me to play it. So you've got a lot of power here to learn um, Learn from online content and curate your own flashcards by using um, the subs to SRS, you know, um, add-on for Anki that I showed in a previous video. Okay, and you probably want me to show you that it works, so I'm gonna drag the first episode of Dr. Stone into MPV and let it load. And once it's loaded, I'm gonna drag the subtitle file into it and then set my profile to Dr. Stone for the subtitle um, delay and there it is so it's going to appear once i go ahead and activate the subs to srs and if i want to make a flashcard it's going to be the exact same thing um as i normally would be so go ahead and update that in anki and it's going to create that same flashcard that i had before in the other video Okay, I was scared for a second that it wasn't going to pop up, but here it is, the picture of the image of the anime, and also in the next one. So, um, there's probably something, it probably took it from the web, which is why you see the Russian in it, but other than that, that is good to go. And that's it. So I hope I was able to help someone out there, especially if you're trying to learn a new language. It can get very hectic with all this free... Um, open source software because it's very non-beginner friendly, especially if you're not used to code. But please go ahead, leave a like, comment, subscribe to the video if you want me to see more. I'm always inspired by seeing um, comments and I love answering comments. So if you've got any questions, feel free to leave one below. But I'll see you all later for more tutorials in the future. Good luck in your studies.